Kubor Nagashlem to Nongsan Hima. Kinohi Kai School Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan, Hapok Shatri Megalia Sarva Shiksha Abhiyan School Association Central Body, Kilapalongi Gajimpan Kopuram Yaka Sorkar, Halor Gajimpre Shitam, and Pin or Longi Gajindawa Jikinohi Kai SSE. Haganika Sina Kliang Ulong Ibut Yatanat Puliputi Uba Himalaya, Muktan Shankliang, Ulalong Kum Ukong San. Habakran Naganika Sina Uba Shankliang, La Jingero Eka Sorkar, Batre Shitam, and Pin or Longi Gajindawa Jikinohi Kai SSE, Lagade Hakatulam Nega area. Kumba ka long manta ka sorkar ka siyo ka tulop jang kinohikai klem ka jing thot. Habaya de ba ka jing ong ba kinohikai SSE kin kut no haus nem arajar arpun riyo. Na ka liang ba siyang pliang la krensha ba kinohikai SSE kin ne ba ka arajar arpun riyo. Ka day tang ka snem ba ka sorkar pereng ka buo ka thong. Hadiyan us nem arajar arpun riyo ka sorkar kan sa siyang man pet. Balada yu iya ka jing non kam ha ki wei ki liang kin sa buo biang ka thong. Lagade ship ho ni arfos nem. Hagani a sina kalyang kino hikai ka SSE kila iti ru e kador kas yo no ai but katanat puliputi ka sor ka jela. Halor ka jing dawa ban regularize no but ban kinti yo ka tulop ka jongki. Habay de ka niu ba Himalaya ula ya tu ba ya ka niga dor kas unsa iti. Haga state education commission ban pen ula kintu yo kino hikai ban nongki ba yaisha halor ka niga mat jing dawa. The opposition in the floor of the house would take up the issues of the SSE teachers. And from then on, things became serious. Mr. Konrad Sama came to be the Chief Minister from 2018 onwards. MDA won, tried to do a lot. It succeeded in solving a lot of your problems. Now MDA too has done more. In just six months' time, the present government has been able to address almost all your issues. I must thank the SSA teachers for being patient with the government, for being resilient, in their endeavor to fight for the rights of the teachers. And that is where we are today. To be felicitated by the SSA Association. We would have loved to see the Honorable Chief Minister today, to see this August gathering here. We would have loved to see the Deputy Chief Minister, Mr. Tinsong, being present here today for all the support that he has always been providing to you. We would have loved to see the Education Minister to see with his own eyes how the responses from the SSA teachers. But nevertheless, I will be carrying the message to all these dignitaries of the warmth the kindness and the response that you have given by way of showing the mark to felicitate the people who matters to you in this government. Still more that you look out for there were more than you were looking for, which you have already got, which this government has already responded to. But I think there are more to do. I must say, like you heard from the honorable, from the respected president, that your salary has been paid till the month of June, and definitely. It has been taken up by the department that they will not fail in their duties to pay you every quarterly from now on. You will get your salary on a quarterly basis. Then, the first installment from the Government of India, which will be released to the state government in the month of September, this 
is because a one month back when the honorable minister of education was in delhi i had also accompanied the honorable minister we had met certain high officials in the ministry who looks after the ssa and we have discussed at length issues relating to the teachers under ssa and that is when these secretary level officers in the ministry had assured that henceforth things will smoothen and as we provide all the utilization certificates to the government of india as we comply to all the norms that the government of india has set for us the flow of money will never be stopped for you i must thank the honorable minister for taking this initiative i must thank the honorable minister education for taking this initiative to have this special meeting with the officials in the ministry particularly for the problems faced by the ssa teachers and that is why i stand here to tell you of why things have started to be better now because of the reason that we have complied to all the norms whatever was pending there was a big gap between the state government and the central government there were a lot of ucs that were not being furnished to them there were a lot of papers that we have not informed them and that is the reason ssa money was blocked in new delhi henceforth it is not going to happen like that because we have taken onto our shoulders the responsibility to make your life easy so that you will not spend your time coming out of the classrooms demanding for your rights but you will concentrate in the classroom for the benefit of the children of the students and for a better education atmosphere in the areas the department is functioning now <coughs> i was telling the honorable minister we would not like to see any of the ssa teachers to come and tell us what to do we should know our role we should know our duty while they perform their duty in the classroom we should perform our duty in our office rooms am i right yes and therefore we will not give you one reason we will not give you one reason to complain that this is stuck here or that is stuck there i must really thank our officers the officers of the ssa day in and day out they are spending the time to see that the ssa project is implemented in letter and spirit here in the state it's just not that we want results to come out from the classroom we want to see the people behind the results <coughs> you are the people behind the results of the students if you have anxiety at home if you have problems at home if you do not get your salary i can understand the whole family gets disturbed when your mind is disturbed you cannot go and teach the children in the classroom am i right yes therefore we want to see that the minds of the teachers are at peace when the minds of the teachers are at peace the minds of the student in the classrooms are at peace because when the teacher goes inside the classroom with a smiling face the students also smile if the teacher goes to the classroom with an angry face the children get scared they get anxiety too therefore this is like a cycle it is like a cycle 
where it is a role for each one of us to play. Policy makers like us have to play a role. People like you on the ground have to play a role. Stakeholders like the students also have to play their roles. And therefore, I say it is a big cycle where each one has our own role to play. My dear friends, we still have to provide you with the capping salary, which is amounting to 52 crores. And I must announce today to you that we have already processed the file for the easing of your capping salary of 52 crores. This 52 crores is just a matter of time that is going to be released. I understand from Ba Andrew, our deputy SPD, that the file is moving fast, and I hope this money also comes to your hand. With this, I think you do not have much major issues where money or the salary is concerned. Almost we have complied to all the issues relating to salaries and areas. Now I have one issue which I have been reminded by the President and that is regarding this memorandum which has been submitted today. This memorandum mostly deals with regularization of your jobs. My dear friends, I think you all know that we have the Education Commission now which has been constituted by the government. Now this matter, this memorandum will be referred to the Education Commission and we will ask the Education Commission to look into this. This paper will not go to waste. These issues here will be considered paragraph by paragraph by the Education Commission and that is where we will expect the Education Commission to give its suggestions and recommendations to the state government. <coughs> Some people are nodding like this. Am I right? Yes, sir. Am I addressing the right topic? Yes, yes sir. I know for sure that this 2026 is like a deadline for you that after 2026, what will happen to us, we do not know. Am I right? Yes, sir. It is not like that. I will clear the doubt for you. Don't go by that myth that after 2026, what is our future, we do not know. It's not like that. See, the government of India has set a target. Government of India has set a target for you and for us. For you as teachers, for us as policy makers and as administrators. Now we have been given certain goals. Now these goals have to be achieved by 2026. At the end of 2026, SSA in Meghalaya will be reviewed by the government of India. It will review, it will see how far have we achieved and what we have not achieved. Then it will set new goals for us. You understand? It will set new goals for us and that new goals again will be maybe after 10 years from then. It could be 2036 or it could be 2046. So therefore, Targets will be set, one after another. Please remove that myth from your mind that after 2026, all of us will be on the road. We'll lose our jobs. I can see a lot of smiles now. <laughs> so, my dear friends, this is what I want to clear the doubt because many times, this is the right forum to clear such things. Am I right? Yes. yes. So therefore, I want to tell you that we will be setting some goals for you now. 
You cannot just keep on demanding things from the government. We also have to demand something from you. We want you will be giving certain goals, which the SSA directorate will be providing certain goals for you. There will be curriculums that will be changing. We have new education policy coming in place. You have to be prepared. You will be trained again. All teachers will be trained again, given orientation courses to adopt the new education policy in the state. And therefore, my dear friends, like I said, you will be given certain goals. Now these goals have to be achieved because we have to move with the change. We have to move with the change. This is a very critical juncture for education which is undergoing a transitional change. And this transitional change has to happen. 